Good afternoon. It's March 23rd, about 1230 in the afternoon. This is George Lemieux from the Gunster Law Firm here to give you a daily update on the COVID-19 virus and how it's impacting Florida businesses. Last week, we did a detailed webinar exploring all sorts of issues concerning the COVID virus. And you can go and watch or listen to that webinar at our website at gunster.com forward slash COVID-19. But since Friday, there have been some new developments, new executive orders from the governor impacting Palm Beach and Broward County, as well as a new emergency order from Broward County shutting down all non-essential businesses. So I wanted to go through that quickly. We'll be continuing to do these daily updates and you can find them at our website too, gunster.com backslash COVID-19. So what happened last week is Governor DeSantis issued some more executive orders. All of these orders are on our website if you wanna go there and look at them. One that impacted Broward and Palm Beach that shut down basically all businesses where people can congregate, bowling alleys, movie theaters, things like that a more limited shutdown than what Miami-Dade County did last week when they shut down all non-essential businesses. On Sunday, yesterday at 6 p.m., Broward County issued an ordinance similar to Miami-Dade County, shutting down all non-essential businesses. However, you should know that there are more than 50 categories of exceptions to that order of businesses that can stay in business. For example, grocery chains, anybody in the cultivation of food, uh, convenience stores, gas stations, pharmacies, healthcare facilities. The list is very detailed. You can find that order on our website at gunster.com forward slash COVID-19. Also right now, the United States Senate is in session. They are negotiating a reportedly almost $2 trillion package of funding. And Minority Leader Charles Schumer just came out and said that he is very close with Secretary Mnuchin and finalizing that. It is likely that there will be a vote today. We will give you a detailed briefing on what's in that bill once it passes, but lots of relief for healthcare facilities, direct payments to American consumers, uh, American residents, for example, everybody making up to around $100,000 is gonna receive some kind of stipend. We'll get you all that information once that bill is passed. So a lot to be, uh, to follow, a lot to uh, discuss, and you can get that information at our website at gunster.com forward slash COVID-19. Thanks so much. Stay strong. We're going to get through this, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.